Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the difference between host objects and their native objects. So let's try to see this one. We know that every node in the DOM inherits methods and properties from its parent node. So we have already learned from the first onwards, from the first video onwards, that every node in the DOM inherits the methods and the properties from its parent node. In the same scenario, and also every object in the JavaScript. We know that almost pretty every, everything in the JavaScript is an object. In the same scenario, almost every object in the JavaScript inherits methods and properties from the parent object. Pretty much everything in JavaScript is an object. So that is what we have discussed. Everything in the JavaScript is an object. And also everything in the DOM is a node. So this is the main thing. If you compare JavaScript and the DOM is everything in the JavaScript is an object and also everything in the DOM is a node. Every object or node contains a private property which holds a link to its prototype. So here we, if we want to know about the host objects and the native objects, we need to first know about the prototypes. So if you don't have any idea about the prototypes and all those things, I have already did the videos in my JavaScript complete course. So you can take a look at that, that prototypes concept. So just prototypes are nothing but inheritance concept. So our object is inheriting in another object. So that inheriting object is called as an inherited object is called as a prototype. So here in the same scenario, every object or node contains a private property. So it contains a private property that holds a link to its prototype. So its prototype is nothing but it's an another object. A node is a generic term for any type of object in the DOM. So here we are discussing two type, two things. Actually, if you try to understand it, uh, clearly, we are discussing a node and also a JavaScript object. We are trying to compare it. So in the DOM, we call it as a node. Everything in the everything in the DOM is pretty much called as a node. So we need, a node is also one type of object only, but we call it as a node. Whereas in the JavaScript terminologies, we call this one as an object. So we are trying to figure the difference between those two. A node is a generic term for any type of object in the DOM. Okay, it's a generic term. We call it as a generic term for any type of object in the DOM. Whereas in JavaScript, an object is a complex data type. Whereas in a JavaScript, we call it an object and it is a complex data type. Whereas in the DOM perspective, a node is a generic term for any type of object. So normally there are two types of objects. So if you try to understand, so there are two types of objects in the JavaScript. That is first one is a native object and another one is a host object. So now we need to understand the difference between these two. So what is a native object and what is a host object? Native object are core predefined object always available in the JavaScript. So here native objects means those are core and predefined objects that are already available in the JavaScript. And these objects are set out in the ECMAScript specification. So ECMAScript is an organization which, con which controls the JavaScript and which gives, uh, which releases the versions in the JavaScript. And these are native objects and its uh, def definitions and all the things are controlled by an organization that is nothing but ECMAScript specification. So these native objects are defined by the express specification and these are core predefined objects available in the JavaScript. So native objects are fully defined by the ECMAScript specification rather than by the host environment. Host environment means nothing but the project environment. So the project in the application environment which we are trying to set up that is called as an application environment. So we are not defining these objects. So normally we define the user objects. We also call it as an user objects. So we are not defining any objects. These native objects are defined by the ECMAScript itself. Example of native objects include object, function, string, math, boolean, etc. Now you are able to understand. So these are called as a native objects. So these examples are object, function, string, math, boolean, etc. Now let's learn about the host object. Host object is provided by the specific environment to uh, in order to serve a specific purpose. So now you are starting an application, you have created a new object and this object is used is used in the entire application means and that object is called as a host object. So this one is set by our application. So this doesn't have any standards or specifications or anything. So we have created this object for to solve the specific purpose purpose. So that is called as a host object. These objects are not defined by the ECMAScript. script. So these are not defined by the ECMAScript. script. So not all environments has the same host objects. So for example, if you are having two or three applications means 
So not every application has the same host objects. Each environment has their own host objects created. So the same, uh, the same thing. It's correct only. It makes sense, right? So every environment has its own set of host objects. Whereas native native objects for every environment, they will be having the same set core predefined. In Node.js, for example, let's say that in Node.js, you know about the Node.js, the JavaScript which runs outside the browser. Uh, that is nothing but in the server. So if you try to say the JavaScript which runs outside the server. Different host objects will be available for this one. So there are different types of host objects will be available if you try to run the JavaScript outside the browser. So something like Node.js. So you will be having the host objects like HTTP, a file system, FS, path like this you will be having. When it comes to the browser, okay, so that means in the browser when the JavaScript tries to run, we got different host objects like window, document, XML, HTTP request, history, etc. So these are all the host objects which are available when you are trying to run the JavaScript inside the browser. So this is what I am trying to tell you. So these are not the JavaScript core objects, window object. Don't think that these are available indefinitely in the JavaScript. These are not present depending on the environment which you are trying to run the JavaScript. So the, the, the different type of host objects will be available to you. Whereas no native objects are permanent. So those are core predefined. So those things will be available as long as you wherever you run the JavaScript. When you take window object, which is a host object and it is the root object, which is given by the browser. So when you take the window object, so now you are trying to run the JavaScript in the browser means window object will be available, which is made available by the browser. And that is the root object. So that is the main object, root object. So the host objects within the DOM are document, event, console, node object, so like this. So the host objects available within the DOM are, so in the DOM, the host objects available are document, event, console, node object like this. When it comes to the BOM, BOM is browser object model. We have the host objects like screen, history, frames, navigator, etc, etc. So when it comes to the BOM, so you'll be having like this. When it comes to the DOM, you have document, event, console, node, node object like this. In JavaScript, we finally got the native objects like string, math, number, date, etc. So these are all available in the, these are called as a native objects. Our browser gives us the DOM and BOM objects access automatically. That's why we call these objects as the host objects. So now whenever you are trying to run the JavaScript or any application, so the DOM and BOM objects are automatically given access by the browser. So that is the reason we call these objects as host objects. <coughs> So this is all about the difference between the host objects and the native objects. Now, uh, now I, I think that you have got a pretty clear understanding about the difference between the uh, native object and the host object. Host objects are provided by the environment. So that depending on the environment, which the JavaScript running, so it will give you a pretty standard uh, objects. So those are called as an host objects. Whereas the native objects means these are available core predefined objects. These are available in the javascript itself so wherever whatever the environment you are running these objects will be available so that is the main difference between native objects and the host objects hope you understood about the difference between them if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you